Welcome to it. It's morning coffee, special Friday edition. I'm Paul Coffey, joined by Jasmine Sadri. Today's the day. Body language is out from Blake、yes. Shelton. It's his newest album. We had the opportunity to get with him to create kind of a album release party, a kind of party. No, kind of it's、special. a full on party, Paul. No one wants to go to a kind of party. You got to sell this. So, for the next hour, we'll be sharing moments with Blake Shelton as well as new music from his album Body Language. As we started the conversation, I just want to set this up so you understand how you hear me talking and how it begins. We were talking to one of Blake's producers to just say, hey, let us know when to shut up if we run over on time because sometimes we do that. We get so engaged in the conversation, we lose track we of、like、time. We like to yap a lot. Yeah. And they have to tell us, listen, you went 10 minutes over on time. Well, why didn't you tell us to stop? So we were just clarifying that. And then in the background of this video shoot, we had a big, you know, like a three foot by three foot poster of Blake from the year 2000 behind me. Oh, Mullet and Stetson and all. Yeah. So here's how the conversation begins if we, lose, if we lose track of time in a sentence of something, something, just come on and say, okay, time's up. Just, just tell us to shut up because that's what he would do. Shut up. He would <laughs> just ex- exactly like that. How you been? Good. What are you doing, buddy? What do you got set up for me today? Another one of your stupid. Karaoke things or what? What do we got? Stupid. Look Wait, look at that picture back there. Yeah. That's,、uh, that's Terry、wow. Clark. I, why do I have the. <laughs> Either Terry Clark or Wade Hayes. I can't tell. <laughs> Wade Hayes. That's a good one, too.、Yeah. <laughs> Just right out of the chute, ripping me for bits we used to do, comparing himself to Wade Hayes. More with Blake Shelton coming up next from his album Body Language. Here is Minimum Wage on Morning Coffee. Minimum Wage. New music from Blake Shelton. His album is out today. It's called Body Language. We're going to be spending the next hour sharing our conversation with Blake Shelton. And, and speaking of body language, it's, it, you just have to visually see Blake. <laughs> and his facial reactions whenever Paul like, just talks in general. You guys have this like, rapport that's really fun to watch. And you can just see like, the smart <laughs> A comment wash over his face. Like, what does he think that he's going to respond to? Oh, you yeah, can.、Like、I a, love it. I love that about Blake. It. So、yep. we, we wanted to dive into this whole body language. Let's start with the cover art. I, I looked this up from the author of Body Language. Hands in the pockets means powerlessness, shyness, And a murder to rapport by trying to hide one. Or sometimes you want to be sexy. So, I, which, which angle was it that they were? I don't know, I don't know were... where you read that, but here's what's really going on. I've figured out over the last couple of years that if you, st- if you do this and you're able to kind of bunch your shirt up like that. You want to describe what's happening there, Jasmine? Oh,、uh, yeah, he's standing up, and I'm like, okay, this is great. And then all of a sudden, Paul starts to partake, and I'm like, what is going on here? If you do this and you're able to kind of bunch your shirt up like that and it doesn't show your gut as much because you can kind of take your jacket and pull it in, your shirt, pull it in. So it doesn't mean I do that, I do that too. What is going on right now? I don't, look like, I don't look like that guy in that picture behind you anymore. I'm, I'm old and about 180 pounds overweight. And so <laughs> learned, you learn how to take pictures that. Disguise that stuff. And by the way, you know, speak, the, I wanted to call the album Corn. And <laughs> that picture, that photo just didn't say corn to me. <laughs> Track six has got the United States r u t a b e g g y Association quite mad as they feel that you've smited them by not recording a song about r u t a b e g g y So, What's the justification with recording a song called Corn? Well, first of all, I'm not, I don't know what the word smite even means, but <laughs> it's if biblical. If they're, if they're upset with me, I mean, really, who cares about Rutabaga associations? Okay, let's just be、wow. honest. Not top- well, Blake's well, coming not in hot. hot. That's not top shelf produce right there. <laughs> what is this corn talk? <laughs> it's new music from Blake Shelton. It's morning coffee. That's a man who loves corn. Talking with Blake Shelton, not one mention of rutabaggies there. I sell, I sell vodka, which is made from corn. That's who I'm supporting right now. Well, maybe they should do a line, a special line of, of vodka 
distilled from rutabagas. Is there really a rutabaga association like people are, that are associated with rutabagas? Yes. I stand corrected. We're going to have more with Blake throughout the hour. There is some very touching and special moments of him describing life with Gwen Stefani. Also, God working his way into the conversation. And what is it that he does with his life that he attributes to his massive, massive success? He's going to share all that and a little bit more coming up on Morning Coffee. It's Morning Coffee, spending this hour on this Friday morning, taking time with our friend of the show, Blake Shelton, to talk about his brand new album, Body Language. A lot of times artists will put hidden stuff, not like a hidden track, but just they'll do things for themselves. Like Garth for a long time was known. I don't know. I don't know if he's still doing this, putting his favorite special song as the last track. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed something about Blake Shelton music over the last couple of years. I noticed something that has turned into kind of a pattern. Uh, if I know me, you had Save Your Shadow as the last track fully loaded you had another very spiritual song as the last track and on, on this with body language bible verses is the last song is is this now something we can expect moving forward that there's a special spiritual song I, I don't to tag know, things out maybe i, I kind of like it. i didn't even realize there was a that this was happening but you're right it's uh it has been on the last few albums uh Maybe so. Maybe maybe that's myself, my inner whatever. Uh, uh, my inner smite uh, trying to direct me. The song is called Bible Verses. It's on his new album called Body Language. Blake Shelton on Morning Coffee. It's Morning Coffee, spending this hour of your Friday morning getting introduced to new music from Blake Shelton and having great conversation with Blake. Still a lot to come, including... Some chat about Elon Musk and the secret <laughs> to what Blake thinks has been the secret to his career's success. But you were you were focused on kind of one thing, Jasmine. Um, because y'all know how obsessed I am with Blake and Gwen. I always talk about them, whether it's country music news or just in general. And so, duh, I had to ask him about Gwen. You can ask Paul uh, and anyone with an earshot here on the show. I absolutely love you and Gwen and how the two of you just created this beautiful love story and partnership together and just watching the two of y'all grow into this foundation and being this inspiration to folks who've followed y'all's respective journeys at finding love again. So number one, what is the one thing about you that you can say is different now that Gwen's in your life? And two, what is your favorite thing about her? Well, I, the thing that's different about me, I think is, is uh, besides when I'm, when I'm, interviewing with Paul uh, is I, I, it just never stops it does never it? stops and I love it <laughs> I mean is he lying well I, the thing that's different about me I think is is uh, besides when I'm when I'm interviewing with Paul uh, is I, I've, I've uh, I think I've become a little more uh, mature and patient with people you know because Gwen is always you know, anytime there's like this, you know, an adversion or, or something controversial going on in her life or personal life, she always kind of, she always has this way of looking at things from all different directions and, and one being the other person's point of view and why this thing might be happening, you know, and, 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 and I never thought about that before. I've just, That's always, true. I've always assumed that I was right. <laughs> I always assume I'm right about whatever we're talking about. And that's wrong. true. <laughs> Shut his mic off. What is he doing? <laughs> but then the other thing is, is uh, uh, my favorite thing is just. Uh, yeah. What is his favorite thing about Gwen? I love them together. Uh, that's coming up. Happy Anywhere from Body Language. It's Blake Shelton on Morning Coffee. Doing something a little different and a lot fun this Friday with Morning Coffee, speaking with Blake Shelton about his new album, Body Language. So the last part that we had, we were talking about Gwen Stefani. Things about Blake that has changed since having Gwen in his life. Jasmine, great question. And you also asked him what his 
favorite thing was? Did you expect this as an answer? Yes. Because oh, you, you can did. tell. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. My favorite thing is just I, sometimes I forget that it's she's Gwen Stefani. And literally just this morning, like 30 minutes ago, just like all of us have to do, I had to, to uh, take a COVID test here at the house and for something coming up tomorrow or the next day, we're constantly taking those things in the entertainment industry. And and, uh, and the girl came to the door and I, and I walked to the door and Gwen was talking to me about something and, and then she went on and the girl gave me the test. And right when she was walking away, she goes, by the way, thank you for letting me see her. <laughs> I go, what? What? Uh, what are you talking about? She goes, I just, uh, you, you know, when you came to the door, like you, the, I got to see her and thank you, you for, you know, I go, you're welcome. <laughs> no problem. That, uh, she has that I'm Blake, by the way. <laughs> no, no, she just saw the inside of my nose holes. <laughs> she was, was over me for sure. Yeah. Oh, I love it though. I mean, look, and I'm glad you brought that up because there are times where I catch myself just stare. Gwen is just, she's such a presence and she's so beautiful on the outside and on the inside and you just can't yeah. help but just be in her presence. So. I know. I know exactly how you feel. Trust me. You just can't help but be oh, in her presence. Just, oh, no, like there's this, like your mouth's on the floor. I didn't want to go into really creepy detail because I don't want to freak him out. But like, I can't stop staring at her. She's stunning. The girl can't help it. This is also on Body Language. New from Blake Shelton on Morning Coffee. Something a little different for your Friday morning. Yeah, well, it's a lot different with with Blake, but I hope that you've enjoyed this. It's not over yet. Spending the hour speaking with Blake Shelton, talking about new music and other things. His new album, Body Language, came out today. I guess the first part of the conversation, I kind of monopolized a little bit. How come Jas- I want Jasmine to ask me some questions. You're yeah, always- you know, who is this guy just monopolizing all the time yeah. to hear himself yap? My yeah. God. Okay, Blake, first things first. You tweeted Elon Musk, and I love this, because you asked if you could please get on the Starlink Internet Experimental List because you're afraid of the zero Internet situation in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma, possibly being a deal breaker for Gwen. So... We have to know, did he ever respond? And are you on the list? No. And sadly, he hasn't. If he has, I've missed it, and which I don't think is possible. My contractor guy that's working on my house out there, he said, hey, man, there's your Internet is it's a joke. You know, he goes, but there's this new thing. And he told me about it's called Starlink, I think, or something like that. And uh He's like, you got to get that, you know, because that's the new thing that Elon Musk is doing. I said, well, let's order it. He goes, well, you can't just get it like that. There's like a waiting list and it's kind of in its early experimental days. And so I said, well, screw it. I'm going to tweet. I'm, I'm going to send out a tweet to Elon Musk and see if he'll see if he'll put me on the, the list, you know, and, and get us in the back door. But haven't heard anything. Haven't heard anything yet. But, you know, I'm hoping that he's going to land, you know, in our, our yard in one of these spaceships and <laughs> hand over the the box you know what i mean say here you go you know here you go i it's love on it. the down low blake okay <laughs> <laughs> don't tweet about it but can i get yeah. some vodka keep this on the download i just landed a rocket in your backyard and here's the modem you need <laughs> that'll be that'll be wild if he gets it to follow along with that i mean don't you think if there's one person on the planet that would get it. Blake would find a way. And it would be he good publicity. That's good marketing yes, right would. there. What do you suppose, if you were going to guess, over the years that you've heard interviews with Blake Shelton and you've seen him um, on The Voice for years now advising people, what do you think his ingredient for success is? Think about that. Maybe you know. Let's find out if you're right. You got one more awesome piece with Blake Shelton coming up next on Morning Coffee. Fun stuff for Friday morning. Spent this hour sharing moments with Blake Shelton. His new album, Body Language, is available today. We didn't get to touch on his Heroes and Friends tour, which is going to be kicking back up this summer. Yeah. Trace Atkins going to be a part of that. Uh, Uh, Martina McBride was another name on there. There's a great lineup on that. Tracy Bird is going to be joining him out on the road is what Lindsay L will be out Mm -hmm. with him. Yeah, so so cool things. Um, Yeah, just a really, really great, fun 
conversation with Blake Shelton. And listen, he's at the top of his game and has been at the top of his game for many years. So you got to ask. Blake, I, I, and I've asked you this, you know, successively over the years as different accomplishments and things happen from from the movies to the voice to the the restaurant partnership to all the the different partnerships and the success how how do you as a teachable almost in a parental role now and as an example for so many people who really do because you are open uh and are friends with everybody who's a fan as an example, what do you attribute your success to that you could share with somebody as a method of, hey, try this because it may make your dreams come true as well? I guess in, in some ways, because and only because I'm, I'm a coach on, on The Voice and, and, I, and I get so many different questions from these artists that I work with over the years. And, and you know, and it sounds so generic to say it and and i and i listen to to you know every season you know there'll be those moments on the show where you know the contestants will say well i just want to you know thank my coach for for you know allowing me or teaching me that it's okay to 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 be myself you know but i don't know how i don't know how many artists actually truly go there you know because uh it's scary i mean it's 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 a scary thing to just, you know, to be yourself. And, and I watch, I, I sit, now that I've been doing this so long, you know, I watch even some of my friends do interviews or, or, or when they're on stage and it's like, man, that's not how they, that's, that's not how they act when, when, when I'm hanging out at, at the house or on the bus with them, you know what I mean? It's like, it, you know, and there's been times and I won't name names and, 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 one of them has even passed away now that I go, man, if, if people could only know this person the way I know them, but the, it, it would be the, the greatest, greatest thing ever, you know, because there's a whole side of their personality that I think they, f- they feel like they got to put that wall up because they're afraid of, of how fans may react, you know, where it's like they don't really Maybe their sense of humor is, is a little more like mine, you know, that's gotten me in trouble over the years, just to be yeah. perfectly honest with you. But I think uh, I, I can't, you know, if you're just if you're just yourself, I mean, maybe maybe it's not a good idea for people to, to have the confidence to be their self because some people are. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> that's the advice I ever heard. <laughs> hey, that's a beep. Would you expect an interview to end no. any other way nope. than that? And that's why Blake Shelton is the gem that he is. Yes. Hope you enjoyed this hour with Blake Shelton. Here's guys.